Yo, what is good dev gods? Welcome to part five of this video tutorial series. In the last video, we created a child class from our pickup base class and extended some functionality to it. We allowed the uh, pickup static mesh to simulate physics, which allows it to fall from the sky with gravity. And uh, in this video, we're going to set up the spawn volume that we're going to use to spawn these batteries randomly um, so that our character can move around and pick them up whenever they spawn on the ground. So let's create a another actor class because this spawn volume will be placed inside of the scene and anything that's placed inside of the scene needs to extend from actor. So inside of our public folder, let's create a directory and let's call it spawners and right click inside of there and add an unreal class actor class and call it the uh, battery spawner. Oops. Spawner base. And I call it base because we may or may not extend it, but it's always good to call your C++ classes base class if, it, if it's possible that you extend it inside of Blueprint or C++. Um, so create that class. See, we get our boilerplate code. And uh, we're going to do just how we did inside of the, uh, the pickup base class. We need to create a component to spawn these batteries from. And in Unreal Engine, there is a uh, box collision component or uh, box component uh, that you can use. And it has some built in functionality that lets you get to its origin, its bounds. And uh, that's what we're going to use as our spawner. So come into the protective section here and we're going to make another U property. And this is going to be edit defaults only. Uh, blueprint read only and it's going to be in a category of spawner and this is going to be of type u box component and you see it's declared inside of the header box component dot h but we want to forward declare it so that we can save some compile time so if you put class in front of the pointer that you're about to type in, it won't include the header inside of the header file. Most of the time, if you can avoid it, you do not want to include header files inside of your header file. Um, just will create longer compile times. So as we continue to type this U-box component, and we're going to, it's a pointer, as I said, you don't have to understand this until you understand it, but just know that anything that's a component or starts with a U, you will be pointing to it until you get to a more advanced state where you're using T subclass of, and we won't be using that inside of this series. But yeah, so anything that you want to set that is a component inside of the editor, if you want to set it, you need to, it needs to be a pointer. So remember that. So we're going to call this our uh, spawn volume. And we need to create a public function where we could set a random spawn point. So let's call this new function and this is going to be blueprint callable now let's make it blueprint pure and we want it to return just a vector and we're not going to be doing any extensive math so it being pure won't be bad put this in a category of uh spawner now this function is going to return an f vector now, what an F vector is, if I go to the Unity code, um, see here, an F vector is nothing but a vector three. It's the same thing as a vector three. Uh, in Unreal Engine, it has a different name because uh, things that are structs 
are preceded by the letter F. So a vector is a struct of floats. So that is why it has this F in front of it. You can hover over it to it says struct. Um, and it's just the same thing for F transform, F rotator, F uh, float is float doesn't have it because the float is not a struct. But if it's a struct, it has F in front of it. Um, so this is going to return an F vector or vector three. And this is going to get a random spawn point. So let's go ahead and um, alt enter if you're using Rider and generate an implementation of that. And inside of our constructor, we need to go ahead and uh, create our actual box volume that we'll be using. So let's call our spawn volume. And then we need to create default sub object. And this, this process here, this creating the default sub object, you will use this every time you need to create an object or an, a component. If your character has a health component, you'll create a default sub object. If your character has a custom movement component or you want to add your own movement component, you'll create a default sub object. So if you just need to remember this context, whenever you create or instantiate or declare a component over here, in order for it to show up or be used in the, in the editor, you need to create the default sub object of it. So we just pass in the type again, U box component. And then we set text and then we give it its name, the spawn. I'm going to just call it spawner. And you see, we got an, an error. If we hover over this, it just says the type U box component is incomplete. And the thing about Unreal is that you do have to include your header files. The good thing about Rider is that it saves you having to go search for the header file. You can just press Alt Enter while you're hovered over the class and you can include the definition of U box component. And if you don't have Rider, just hashtag include components slash component box component dot H. That's what you have to type up here in your includes. See, it puts it there for you. And now we can use functions on this or we can get variables from this because we we know about the class. So here, in order to get a random spawn point, we need to get a random point within the bounds of this spawn volume. So we'll do that by setting a few const f vectors uh, and this is going to be called the uh, spawn origin and this is equal to our spawn volume dot get bounds dot bounds and we need the origin now I'm 100% sure that the arrow operator is confusing you guys, but it's very similar to the dot operator, um, except this arrow operator is just pointing to this. This is a this is a uh, a weak object reference, and this is a uh, just a pointer reference. I wish it if I hovered over it. Well, yeah, don't don't get too confused by this stuff. This is just the syntax and it's just something that as you type more and more C plus code or C plus plus code in Unreal, you'll start to see these things a lot more. So another thing we need to get is the, the actual bounds of the box. So const, oops, const f vector and uh, the spawn limits is equal to the spawn volume bounds 
and we need its uh, box extent. This gets the full extent of the box from, uh, if we hover over, it gets the F vector box extent, which is the height, length, and width. So to put this to use, uh, Unreal has this huge library of math functions located in the UKismet math library. And I'll go, uh, so if you see it, it says you need to declare in header uh, UKismet uh, math library dot H. I'll show you the input for this, but I, I want to go to the class. And you know all of those different vectors and all of those different uh, function functions that you create yourself in Unity. Uh, a lot of them have already been created inside of this uh, Unreal Engine uh, math library. It gets a random bool, a random bool with weight, like very uh, reusable code that is often used a lot. You often get a random uh, value inside of a of a box or a sphere. So what we can do is use that math library. And it's if you go back to the class, you see most of these are static calls, so they can just be called from the class by using this uh, double colon accessor. And the function that we're looking for is the uh, random of uh, that the random point in bounding box. So what this takes in is an origin and a box extent, which we just created right here. So all we need to do is pass in our origin and our box. Oops our spawn origin and our spawn limit. And this, this function here, it returns an F vector. You see, it's a static F vector, meaning that it returns an F vector. So our function needs to return an F vector. So all we have to do is return this right here. And now we have got a random spawn point. And if we compile this, we shouldn't get any errors. Okay, that built successfully. Uh, so in the next video, what we're going to do is create another component or create another variable to pass in what we want this spawn volume to spawn. And we also want to tell it how often we want to spawn it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.